Hi everyone, welcome back to Dimension Traders Trading Forecast and the Review for July 18, 2017. Today we are going to do a little different thing on the uh, back of the video about continuation pattern in different platform. And we are going to explain more when we get to the point on the back. So let's get on some uh, pairs um, unfold from the day July 7. Let's take a look on the first pair. The first pair is Singapore Swiss. This pair has been found at the major uh, supply with 15% retracement of the Fibonacci from this high to this low when we are on the July 7th and the trend of the 4 hour has holding the high very clearly with the recently supply zone when pricing come back and touch it right and uh, follow with the sharp breakdown is the uptrend trend line so the hourly are expecting for some reversal setup which is dimension setup we found right here when pricing pull back to 78% from this high to this low this is where our trigger got, tri uh, got open on the limit order uh, this trade didn't work out as our expected because one to one uh, trading reward ratio is almost barely made it so pricing had a run right here and afterward pricing just break to the upside and fortunately according to the risk management I always move to the open when pricing heading down for a certain level so this one has been treated as a break even Okay, so this is first pair has been on fall from the previous um, forecast. Then let's go to the second pair. The second pair is dollar Swiss. This one has been recognized similar setup to the Singapore Swiss, which is supply zone has been reached along with the downtrend trend line. Fibonacci retracement from this high to this low about 50% right this area and uh, the trend for the uptrend of 4 hour have been broke down and the retrace back very fast along with the downtrend trend line held in the major supply and the resistance lines what I mean supply and the resistance line is when the price um, is um, held from this uh, swing low and breaking down and come back and become the swing high then swing low held right here right now it's swing high see this is what we are expecting a very very important um, price level so at this level we have the very um, sharp breakdown on the uptrend trend line right here and the pricing pull back to our expecting entry which is we found um, already the reversal setup found right here pricing moving on MACD moving down and pricing come back to 78% of Fibonacci from this high to this low and our limit order trigger and this is a beauty of trade you have to start limit above the figures and the pricing just roll along with our one to one reward ratio this is a win so good unfold on this one which is perfect layout for reversal setup okay now let's continue and uh, rolling to the July 11th we have the um, another setup found in Australian Swiss this pair I found the, it's a similar with other Swiss pairs we found on back on July 7th downtrend trend line pricing retrace back on this high to this low about 50% in this supply zone 
and the four hour pricing held down trend when price at this area making the reversal candle along with the supply zone. Also, this uptrend tonight break, price is pulled back. This is something we missed right here. And uh, for hourly, price is break to the downside uh, and the uh, MACD crossing down what we are expecting for possible reversal according to the bias. So the trend, of course, we found a reversal on 15 on uh, here with the Fibonacci 78.6% 78 um, has been triggered as the limit order stop right on the top and these this pairs didn't um, fall as are expected but risk removed after the pricing moving down and the pricing stop us out before the pricing took off so this is a break even trade after um, fall um, back on July 11th for Australian Swiss. Okay, so let's go in forward to the um, July 17th. At July 17th, we found a very good um, continuation pattern uh, at Euro Pound. Let me show you. Okay, this is the Euro Pound. We are making a little different layout in different platform. We got the monthly, weekly, day, all for our hour and the thirty minutes all in one place. Why are we doing that? Because the higher time frame can tell us where to look for the major support and the resistance, and the lower time frame can correspond for the entries when pricing retrace back at the major drop. So this pair, um, I'm sorry, wrong pair. We need to go to Europe Pound. Okay, Europe Pound pair, we found a setup um, back on uh, July 17, when pricing reached the major supply zone at weekly, and there's a lot of rejection, rejection, and there's a uh, uh, a lot of the um, rejection and uh, some um, balance between the high uh, long and short area so we are expecting some short might happening right here after we found the day chart trend line breakdown with the reversal candle so this is something call our attention for the short entries and along with the MACD is going down, this is our favorite entry for short. So in the four hour, we took the opportunity when the pricing break the uptrend trend line heading down. So this is the first uh, supply zone breaking this low responsible high. This is the second one breaking this low responsible high. So there's a two supply zone we locate at four hour. And fortunately, we took the first area right here as our entry, which is at the wrong number as well, with the 88,000, 8800, this is the wrong number. We took this short and stop right here. Um, and uh, this trade unfold quite well for the beginning, which is we see in the hourly. Let me show you the hourly chart. So let's say right, okay, right this area. Okay, this is the July 17. We found a major supply zone right here, and along with the Retracement 78.4%, which is trigger our entries. And our stop, of course, is on the right top of here. The pricing played out quite well in the beginning. So we stopped to uh, smooth our stop to the entries before we got uh, break even after the major move up. So short entry with the break-even setup 
uh, after we saw we found um, this pair. Uh, most of the pair, as long as you have the very good trading plan, which is continuation or reversal, stick with it, uh, trade with the trade management very, very closely. In case there's something going wrong, like this pair against you, you still holding your funding without any, lo any losing. So break even on this trade is the result back on July 17th. So okay, let's do some forecast for July 18. For the July 18, we locate a possible setup in pound Canadian. Pound Canadian pairs. The pair has continuation for down all the way still till today when we found the pricing coming back and touch the previous resistance right here and here's a support and resistance line the major lines right here when we found a setup this is the place we have locate okay so downtrend major lines price line has been touched and uh, for our downtrend trend line hold pricing break down with a sharp move down with the 50% retrace Fibonacci from this high to this low and create this supply zone which is this area we're expecting something gonna happen so we are going down to hourly we found divergent which is reversal setup from this high to this low expecting 78% after the pricing break this uptrend trend line so expecting for the short and the reversal setup uh, limit order right here sub above the figures that is always what uh, my trading plan tell me to do so forecast on the power canadian Hopefully the short will trigger before London open or we'll see something extension for the next day before Asian or something. Maybe we can enter another limit order for this setup. So first forecast for this one. Um, for the reversal, we don't see many, but we found another continuation, which is um, pound dollar. Pound dollar has reached a very uh, major pricing lines um, day chart. As we can see, the pricing on the top right here, which is the resistance of this point, support right this point, support, support, and the pricing come back with the reversal candle in day chart. That is what we found at day chart at this point. So we scroll down to four hour. We found there is the trend line break with sharp break down along with MACD crossing down. So we are expecting something could happen right here. And uh, actually, we found hourly reversal candle setup with this area. So we are enter limit order for 78% from this high to this low retracement and the stop on the top of figures one to one trading ratio reward ratio. Hopefully this one can trigger before London just as another pound pair which is pound Canadian. If both of the trade did not trigger before London, of course close the in limit order and uh, have a good rest because you always want to keep shop when price action kick in. Uh, so you can always keep up to move your sub loss to break even or keep some profit. That is a very, very high management plan I have for the trading. Um, for forecast, one continuation and the one reversal for July 18, we will see how that's going to unfold for a couple other days. And uh, just for whatever uh, listening the watching the video, 
the update might not be very frequently due to other things kicking. So I will try my best to update the video as soon as the pricing unfold for next day low 2. Or some forecast I found so I can record together with the forecast and the unfold together. Um, if any the analyze any setup does help out for your training plan or your training decision, uh, that would be very very awesome. That is the purpose of this video. Hopefully we can um, share that to everyone who try to improve the training. Uh, if this video is helpful for you or you want to learn more about how my diagnosis uh, analyze to the dimension area for continuation reversal, uh, feel free to visit my website and uh, we have some more information over there for you to check out. Well, if you, uh, if you uh, like my video, please please share, subscribe, any Facebook, you, Twitter, YouTube that you are using most. So I can we can we can spread out the the trading um, analysis that can help more people to to improve. Um, this is a very very good chance that we can um, we can we can share the information because the trading is a very very uh, lonely business here, and uh, hopefully we can uh, sh we can help each other out and uh, share inside information to help each other. Um, okay, that's pretty much the video for today uh, forecast and unfold and we'll back in a couple days for the update. Thank you for watching.